Hi, my name is Tom Haak of the HR Trend Institute. Um, today I would like to talk to you about the strengths of weak ties. I was, was triggered by recent research of Sinal Aral of MIT Sloan School of Management and he with LinkedIn and, and others investigated for years uh, you could say the job seeking behavior of uh, millions of people on uh, LinkedIn and they tested the theory of uh, the, the theory of the strengths of weak ties. And that theory is, is you could say, it, it, it's, it's from 1973 of a guy called Mark Granovater, a guy, a man uh, called Mark uh, Granovater, Granovater. And he argued and, and investigated, said, well, uh, if you're looking for help, if you're looking for support, if you're looking for, 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 for other things, uh, it might be better not to to go to the people who are kind of in your inner circle, the people who you are directly connected to, but people in the next layer and maybe the layers uh, uh, after that. Uh, and you could, in, in a way that's a little bit counterintuitive, you could say, well, the people who are closest to me are probably most willing uh, to help, but your chance of success is probably higher if you connect to people who are a little bit further away from you. And, uh, 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 Aral and, and his team tested this quite cleverly, I think, uh, in, in their research. And, and I won't explain, you have to read it, but uh, they, they proved that uh, uh, if you're looking for new jobs and the people who are looking for new jobs on LinkedIn, the people who are connecting to people in the outer circles, connections that are further away, are more successful than people who are turning to people in their direct contacts. So I think that's that's the one. It's a lesson for job seekers. Eh? So uh, don't go to your neighbor, but maybe to the friend of your neighbor. Don't go to your direct colleague, but but uh, go to the sister of your colleague or the, or the brother of your colleague. So so try to look for connections that are further away. And I, I, years ago, and uh, uh, I, I can show you on uh, my uh, screen, I was able on LinkedIn to make my network, to, make, ma to map my network with LinkedIn maps. So what you see here is Tom Haag's professional network as of October 23, 2012. And uh, uh, Tom Haak in the middle, not, not because it's me, but because it's, you're always in the middle in, in this network map. Eh? And here you see uh, the, the names of the, of the companies that uh, are reflected in the network. Some companies I worked for, some companies I did a lot of work with. Eh? So, for example, in those days I worked at Arcadis, engineering architectural company. So this is, of course, eh, my Ar Arcadis network super super strong and uh, this is uh, uh, also Arcadis but it turned out and I analyzed that this is old established Arcadis the network I was very active in and this is more uh, you could say younger younger Arcadis even in those days I was already quite old uh, this is Aeon insurance brokers uh, here you see Philips KPMG. So in itself, apart from the theory of uh, the, uh, the strengths of weak ties, eh, already, yeah, I think still fascinating to look at these type of, of, of networks because you can draw a lot of conclusions. Eh? For example, uh, hey, young and, and old don't mingle a lot or Aeon, it's an American company, international company, but very American, uh, not so connected to the the European network uh, uh, I was connected to. Uh, Philips and KPMG in those days, very connected, and, and that was understandable because uh, KPMG was the auditor of, of Philips uh, Electronics in those days. And uh, 
values, those are the most important group. And in, even in this map, eh, you can see in, in a way weak ties. So eh, here is, let's say, for example, eh, if you are in Aeon, eh, let's assume I'm this person in Aeon, if I want maybe a new job outside Aeon in Europe, eh, well, maybe it's not so effective to connect to the people in my Aeon network, but look at my Aeon network to connections that are a little bit further away. Uh, so these are still and, and, uh, co people that are directed, uh, uh, connected, but for example, this person, uh, you could say this is a weak tie, but this person is connected to Arcadis. So this is a person, if you're working in Aeon, that might be able to connect you to this big pool of jobs and opportunities. Uh, so it's weak ties. It's also about connectors. Eh? So you see here, uh, old Arcades, young Arcades, and here you see connectors, people connecting old and new. And this was in those days someone in my team, a talent, talent management, uh, uh, high potential programs, clearly a person who was circling here to talk about, hey, who is your talent, who is your talent, and then talking to the talent in the organization. So a connector between old and young. And here you see a connector between uh, the, the insurance world of, of Aeon and maybe connected to Philips Electronics via yeah, a kind of weak tie. So I'm not explaining it all totally clear, but I think there are a couple of le uh, lessons here. Um, one, uh, looking at the strengths of weak ties. Recommendation, if you want something, a new job or another opportunity, or you're looking to, to extend uh, your network to develop other opportunities. Eh? Uh, don't look in, to, in your too direct circle, but go beyond that. Go to the people who know the people you know. So that's one. Secondly, and that's a recommendation also for organizations, eh? do your organizational network analysis, and there are various tools where uh, you, you can do that. LinkedIn Maps, unfortunately, is no longer available, but look for the connectors. And the connectors are always, they are able to connect worlds. If this is Europe and this is Asia, you do want to develop Asia, maybe the connectors can help you. So fascinating organizational network analysis, very powerful, uh, powerful tool, looking at strong and weak ties. And, and you can do various other things with that, uh, maybe a next time. So. Um, I, I wish you, of course, all the best. If you want to uh, learn more, watch more, go to the website of the HR Trend Institute, hrtrendinstitute.com. Uh, connect to me on LinkedIn and, and become part of this, this network. Uh, or go to the YouTube uh, channel of uh, Tom Haag, Tom Haag's YouTube channel. Uh, take care. See you next time.